Belgian MEP finally admits there are some EU officials out to punish Britain for Brexit. Philippe Lamberts, co-president of the European Parliament's Green Party, confessed there are some EU politicians who want Britain to suffer, but he claimed such politicians do not have a majority in European Parliament. Speaking on ITV's Good Morning Britain, Mr Lamberts said, are there politicians on this side of the channel wanting to punish the United Kingdom? Yes. I think that such people exist. Are they the majority? By far not. Mr Lambert said that people realize the best deal for the UK and European Union is to stay together and anything other than that is a lose-lose game. Mr Lambert said EU member states are losing out by departing the UK. He then claimed the UK will be losing out in terms of wealth and influence by leaving the Brussels bloc. The Belgian MEP said, so how do you limit the damage? That is the question and my plea is for the closest possible association between the UK and the European Union. During his appearances on the ITV show, Mr Lamberts faced a brutal grilling from Brexiteer Nigel Farage after claiming the UK should stay close as possible to the European Union's internal markets after Brexit. Former UK pleader Nigel Farage told the Belgian politician British people voted to leave the European Union's key institutions. He said, I know you guys forced the Danes to vote again, you forced the Irish to vote again. There is a great tradition in Brussels of never accepting a no result but this time, do you know what? We actually mean it. Speaking from Downing Street on Monday. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier warned Britain will face unavoidable trade barriers if it leaves the single market and customs union. Mr Barnier told reporters, Mrs May has asked to benefit from the single market and the customs union for a short period after this. The European Council has indicated its readiness to consider this request. The conditions are clear, very clear. Everyone has to play by the same rules. We need clarity on the UK proposals for the future partnership. The only thing I can say, without customs union, and outside the single market, barriers to trade and good and services are unavoidable. Time has come to make choice. Mr Barnier travelled to London on Tuesday for a working lunch with David Davis before the pair head to Brussels with their negotiating teams to begin phase two of Brexit talks on Tuesday.